Okay, what is going on everybody? Phil here, and welcome to my gameplay stream, my first earlier gameplay stream for Wednesday, July 19th, 2017. <laughs> welcome, welcome everybody. So today, ladies and gents, we're trying out the Destiny 2 beta. Uh, I have to say special shout out and thank you to Raul, who provided the code so that I could play this beta this week because I had not myself pre-ordered the game. <clears throat> which is the method by which most people are obtaining keys to enter the beta. Okay? So. We are playing on Xbox One, first of all. FYI. This is Xbox One footage. Um, which is why I'm playing on Wednesday, not on Tuesday. Apparently, um, play as PS4 got this on Tuesday. Um, but I am playing on Xbox One. That's the code I was given. Uh, we'll be checking out the modes. Apparently, from what I'm to understand, there's a story mission, there's a strike mission, and there are two different PvP modes to check out. Um, so, going to see how much content we can get out of that. Um, I don't know if this stream is going to run till 4 or 5 p.m. Uh, I've been doing longer streams recently that run till 5 p.m., but honestly, with the amount of content that it sounds like there's in this beta, <clears throat> I don't know if we're going to be able to get that much out of it. Um... More than likely, after doing the story mission and the strike mission, it's going to be all PvP, which is fine, because as you play the PvP and get better at it and whatever, um, I'm sure it'll be more interesting, but at the same time, uh, how, how much do you want to see the same map, the same shit over, over, over? You know what I mean? Now, a few things I'll be looking for uh, in this beta. First of all, hopefully some improvements over the first game. If you remember... Destiny 1, when I played the original version, I felt really felt like a reskinned Halo. In a lot of ways, it played like Halo. Um, which isn't surprising, because the game developer is Bungie. And guess what? The only other major game that they had that was ever a success was Halo. So obviously, they were going to adhere to that formula. Um, <clears throat> I'll be looking for... Some interesting things. Um, I'll be looking for... Uh, are there any new enemies? Enemy variety, right? Because that was another thing that I complained about in the original game. Is that there really were only like three enemy classes. And most of them were ripped straight from other franchises. I mean, I couldn't believe that one of the enemy classes was from a fucking arcade game from the 1990s. They looked exactly like them. <laughs> so I guess we'll see um, what is exactly available... In this beta today. They highly anticipated. The bottom line, folks, I'm on the fence about Destiny 2, alright? Um, even though, supposedly, uh, you know, the game devs, Bungie, made significant improvements to Destiny over the years, adding in multiple expansions that apparently made the game better and better, I always felt burnt by buying the original game. You know, the original game I played for a good 20 to 30 hours... That launch week, it was like three or four straight days that I was just playing Destiny. I went through, I beat the entire campaign. I did some of the optional big boss fights and things at the end, the cooperative uh, boss fights and stuff. And although they felt fun, it didn't seem original. It didn't seem uh, like anything that was like, oh my god, this is a uh, you know, can't-miss experience. If anything, it felt more like a social game where if you have a group of friends, you play it, you have fun with it. But really, it's not very meaningful. It's just kind of like a grind fest. Okay. Now it's funny because some people staunchly disagreed with me. Oh, Phil, you just didn't get to the better content, the end, the, the raids, the end of the game. And I'm like, dude, if I buy a game for $60, all right, and I play over 20 hours of gameplay, okay, over 20 hours, and then I still haven't gotten to supposedly what's the best part of the game. That's not my fault. That is majorly the fault of the game developer, not me. That means the game developer fucked up, right? That means they had some issue. They fucked up some. They did something stupid. Why would you hide the best content at the end of the rainbow? I paid you 60 That's like saying, so I went to the movies. I paid $15 for a movie ticket to watch a two and a half hour long movie for two hours and four. 40 or 30 or two hours and 20 minutes excuse me the movie was terrible and the last five minutes are amazing um hmm <clears throat> let's think about that so that's what i mean 
really sounds... It, it, it doesn't make any sense. It's bad game design. It's bad game design. Okay? Plus, most people were saying the best content of the original Destiny wasn't the original Destiny. It was the expansions that you had to pay more money for. So really, to get the full Destiny experience that's worth playing, you have to spend $60 on the original game and then buy two expansions. <laughs> <clears throat> now, another thing that gets me about the original Destiny, all right, is that they said, oh, the game is an MMO. No, it is not. This game is not an MMO at all. First of all, it's not massively multiplayer, all right? It's not. Yes, there's a lot of people playing it online. No, they can't all play it once in, in a single instance. It is not an MMO. What it is, it is a cooperative online shooter. So, Bungie has performed false advertisement about this game for so long. But the sad part is that people really don't know what an MMO is who play Destiny. They've never played a, a serious MMO to hold this up and say, oh, this is an MMO or not, okay? It's not. It's, it's simply put, it's not, okay? Um, and the thing that really pissed me off about when the original Destiny launches the advertisement campaign, I still remember, I still remember... The commercials on television, it was like, a game that will change your gameplay experience forever. And it, get the fuck out of here, dude. <clears throat> like, seriously. Uh, it didn't, didn't change anything. Destiny 1 added nothing. Destiny 1 changed nothing. All it did was made a casual-style, grind-fest, cooperative shooter that was massively overhyped, and a bunch of people who were uneducated ran out and bought it, thinking it was an amazing, groundbreaking game, when in reality, it didn't break any ground at all. It just retreaded ground that we'd seen in many other games before it. Um, but it made a bajillion dollars, because it had the name Bungie attached to it, and the name Bungie has enough money behind it to buy hype. And that's exactly what happened. <clears throat> that's exactly what happened, okay? Now, all that being said, all that being said, folks, I'm on the fence about Destiny 2. As I said, I bought the original Destiny, <clears throat> and within a few days, I was incredibly bored with it. My viewing audience was incredibly bored with it. There was nothing to do in the game. It was just a grind fest, okay? So, I'm curious if I should get Destiny 2. Is it really a significant improvement over the first game? Did they actually listen to feedback and, and, and change things and make them better? Or is it going to be just another repetitive grind fest with no real, you know, uh, catch and no real reason to play? I don't know. Already people have been telling me I need to play it and then other people are like, skip it. I don't know. I'm completely and utterly on the fence. All right. So I don't know. Um, You know, it comes out in early September, right? What day is it? September... September 6th, supposedly, I guess, a Wednesday, which makes no fucking sense, but apparently that really is the release date. Um, so, I don't know. I guess we'll see what people what people think, you know, based off this beta and based off if there's any more information. All right. Um, eh, Leonardo's talking out of his butt in the stream chat. He says, oh, Destiny is an MMO. You talk like you have experience with MMOs, Phil. Oh, yeah, let's see. I played EverQuest. I played World of Warcraft. I played City of Heroes and then City of Villains. I played Final Fantasy XI. Um, should I keep going about what I know what the fucking MMO is? Or do you want to keep talking out of your butt? By all means, keep spewing anal waste all over the stream chat and looking stupid. <clears throat> Go right ahead. <laughs> And yes, I know that there are many other modern MMOs that are out there now that are way different. I understand that. I haven't played a modern MMO in quite some time, but I know what an MMO is. I know my shit, all right? Okay. <clears throat> so, let's see what happens with this beta today, folks, all right? More than likely, well, I'll play as much as I can until I get bored of shit. If I have to end at 4 o'clock... Pacific time, then I will. If I have to end at 5 o'clock Pacific time, then I will. We'll see. If there's enough to, to carry this stream <clears throat> all the way till 5 o'clock, then I'll do it. But from what people are saying, um, it seems like there won't be, sadly. 
Alright, I guess we'll find out. Um, alright. Now, this leaves open tonight. Because tonight, folks, I was going to do a second stream and I was hoping that this beta would be enough <clears throat> to actually cover um, the game and, you know, maybe do two streams. I guess not. Well, people are saying it's not going to be enough. So, that leaves tonight wide open. I don't know if I want to do more Danganronpa or if I want to do more Dark Souls. <clears throat> what I'm concerned about is if I do Dark Souls 2 tonight, that people won't show up because they didn't know that it was going to happen, right? Um, and that would kind of be a waste, especially because I'm, I'm, I'm kind of running down the content in Dark Souls 2. Right now, I'm in the, the old Iron King DLC. After that, there's just the Ivory King DLC, and then there's the Dark Lurker, and then there's the endgame stuff, and then I'm done. So, <clears throat> already, it looks like I'm going to be beating the game by, say, this weekend. So, I don't know if I should do Dark Souls 2 tonight and have no one show up. So, maybe I'll do more Danganronpa 2. Uh, I am about to start a trial, by the way, in the game, which means way less talking, which would be good. Some people are saying Ultra Street Fighter 2, and I get that, guys, but I already have, like, 20 matches of Ultra Street Fighter 2 I haven't uploaded yet, saved up for this weekend. Um, and I certainly don't know if I want to do it again. I just played it yesterday, or I played it on Monday as well. <clears throat> So I don't know if I want to play that right now. I don't know. I have to think about it. More, I might do Danganronpa 2 tonight. I just don't know if anyone will show up. <clears throat> Excuse me. As you can hear, I'm still trying to clear my throat up. I'm still waking up gunked up. It's not as bad as it was before I went on break. That's for sure. So that's good. But it sucks. I am still waking up with these, you know, allergies. Um, at this point, there's not much I can do about it. I've cleaned my entire house... And I have house plants. It's like, what else could I possibly do to solve these allergies? I can't really. It's because I have this stupid post-nasal drip, and it goes bad when I when I go to sleep. It basically collects, and then I wake up all gunked up. It takes a few hours, and it clears up. <clears throat> Ugh. All right. All right, everyone. So, let's begin. Let me go through quickly through my plugs segment, and then we will get started here today, okay? So, first off, folks, I want to say to everyone, thank you for being here on the stream. Thank you for watching my on-demand videos on YouTube. Thank you for all of your support. I love doing this full-time. I love broadcasting every day for you, and I, trust me, I'm going to be here every day for a while now. I'm looking through August, September. I mean, I was actually looking, because as you know, I just took some time off, right? And the time off did do wonders, okay? It did. It gave me um, an opportunity to do things that I hadn't done in a long time. It gave me an opportunity to heal up a little bit. And what I'm actually thinking is that maybe every three months or so, two to three months, maybe I'll take more time off. Basically, whenever there's an opportunity, when there's maybe a period of time, a short period of time when there's no new releases, <clears throat> I may be taking more time off. In fact, right now, I'm actually eyeballing two different time periods one in late September and one in early October, where it looks like right in the midst of the hardcore gaming season, there may be a dead week or two with no new releases. And I'm thinking, man, that could really be good because I may be all burnt out from August, September, take a, a few days to relax, and then come back refreshed and boom, go right into all the new releases till the end of the year, right? <clears throat> so I think I may be doing time off like that um, more and more often, okay? We'll see. I'm not going to say it's all the time. It's just be every few months or so. I'll take a few days off. I think it would make sense. All right. Something that I never did. Something that I think I need to do. So I'll have more information on that, obviously, as we get closer to it. But anyway, thank you, everyone, for allowing me to have that time off. It was really valuable to me. And now I'm back. All right. If you enjoy my daily live streams, if you enjoy my on-demand videos on YouTube, and you want to see me continue to be able to do this, there are many ways that you can support my efforts. All right. The first is Patreon. Check out my Patreon at patreon.com forward slash darksidephil. Your pledges to my Patreon uh, do a lot of things. First of all, they aid me financially to do things like pay the bills, you know, keep the electric going, pay the internet, buy all the games and equipment that I need in order to keep going. Um, <clears throat> hell, helps out with things like I just said. I just bought a bunch of houseplants for the house 
to try to make the air quality better so that I don't get all gunked up all the time, you know? All these things help. So please consider pledging, but it's not just about that. It's about you getting personal perks, like getting text or verbal thank yous in my videos, uh, getting premium forum access and being able to participate in monthly events. Like right now, two different groups of patrons are currently voting. One are voting on an Indies marathon that's going to happen by the end of July. And the others are voting on a Sonic event that's going to happen in early August. So lots of patron activity going on right now. <clears throat> but in addition to all of that, you can also get uh, your, your questions answered on my bi-monthly show, Ask the King. It's actually going to happen next month, August. Or you can even get a private Q&A video made. I just made three of them the other day. So please consider pledging. If you have not, right now, this month, you are pledging towards a monthly goal, which are about, we're about $100 away from the monthly goal, so we're actually getting closer, folks. I want to say thank you to the couple people who did pledge over the past couple of days and got us even closer to our monthly goal, all right? If I can raise about $100 more this month, uh, it'll be the return of the Patron's Choice playthrough, where if you pledge 5 bucks or more, you'll be able to nominate and vote on a game that I'll be doing a full playthrough of during the fall, during that downtime between new releases, I'll be playing whatever game wins the voting. And for the first time ever, I instituted criteria by which people can not nominate the style of game that's won every single freaking Patron's Choice up to now. Meaning, <clears throat> no JRPGs, no long, drawn-out, incredibly long games, no visual novels, and no games that are Japanese-centric. So maybe for once we'll finally get an action-based game. Maybe some games that people have wanted to see me play as Patron's Choice for years will finally get their time in the sun. <clears throat> we'll find out. Now is your opportunity, folks, to pledge and get your voice heard. And just to clarify, because some people seem to get this, this, this notion that, man, it doesn't matter if I pledge or not to Phil's Patreon. You know, uh, one vote is nothing. One vote isn't going to be able to, to change anything. So why should I pledge? Wrong. And the reason I say that, you guys don't understand. Some of these patron uh, votes that we've had have been determined by as little as one to two votes. Uh, in fact, right now, the voting that we've got going on for the current patron events, it's only being determined. It's only a couple dozen people voting. Um, even though I have a lot of patrons, I have 200 or more patrons right now. Um, <clears throat> I'd say probably about maybe 70 to 100 of them qualify for the voting events but only about two dozen or so ever vote. So you have an incredible amount of power if you pledge $5 and nominate and then vote on games. You really do, okay? So please consider pledging. Please consider pledging if you haven't, all right? All right, that's number one. Number two, my Teespring store, where I sell all kinds of fun merch. You can see some of it on your screen right there. This weekend, I'll be adding new products to my Teespring store. Uh, Azure Studios is at it again. He's the guy who designed that Skull logo. That's a very popular um, piece of artwork that, you know, turned into a really popular piece of merch. Well, he's designed two new uh, logos to put on merch, and I'm going to attempt to add those to my shop this weekend, okay? <clears throat> so, we're going to see how that goes this weekend and go from there. Hopefully, it turns out to be some really cool shirts and stuff, and you guys and gals will check them out, all right? Now, if you buy anything from my Teespring store, I get a pretty sizable commission. It's pretty helpful. So please consider buying something. You have a nice piece of in-person physical merch, a little collectible uh, for you. And for me, it helps me out, okay? All right, but obviously, if you're here on the stream live, there's one major way that right now you could contribute. And that would be either through cheering with bits, through tipping, or through subscribing to the channel. All right. Now, if any of you do that during the stream, I will give you a shout out. Now, the only uh, exception here is if you're trolls, because we do get troll tippers and troll cheerers who say insulting things or whatever just to try to get attention. Those I'm going to ignore. But if you either cheer, tip, or sub, I will give you a shout-out during the stream. In fact, I owe a few shout-outs that I'm going to give in just a minute here, okay? Now, if you cheer 50 bits or more, if you sub to the channel and click on the share button <clears throat> that appears once you do, or if you tip me $2 or more, 
you'll actually get an on-screen notification as well. So it's kind of like double recognition. You'll get an on-screen prompt and a verbal thank you from me, okay? Um, <clears throat> I'm very appreciative of those who do this, all right? It allows me to keep doing this daily. Uh, so thank you to all of you who are supportive of my efforts. Uh, the one thing I will say is if you're un unaware how to tip, because it is a little different um, from, you know, the other thing. The other things are built into Twitch. The whole cheering and subbing are built into Twitch. The tipping is not. Um, if you're interested in, in how to tip, check out below my stream here. There's a little grid. You know, it's all the information. Like, for example, the rules and stuff like that. If you actually click on the section that says tips, there's a picture of me posing there with Pokemon. If you click on that, it'll take you to the tips page where you can either tip anonymously. You don't have to give your name. Or, you can leave your name in a message, okay? All that significantly helps. Um, I'm not approximate saying, can you tip from the mobile app? That's a good question. I have no idea if on the mobile app, um, you can actually access the grid of information that appears on my Twitch channel. I have no idea. Um, I would almost go as far to say no, because I know recently they just added the ability to cheer on the mobile app, although you can't even buy bits on the mobile app. So in order for you to, to do bits, you have to go on a PC, buy the bits, then go on your mobile app to actually cheer with those bits, which is a convoluted process. I guess it's, it's baby steps, you know what I mean? Like, cheering didn't even exist until what? The second half of 2016? So I guess Twitch is slowly integrating new stuff into, this, into it. Uh, I'm sure eventually everything there will be normal, but yeah, I have no idea if you can actually access my grid of information on my, my channel page uh, on the mobile app, but for those of you who are watching on devices where you're actually seeing my channel page, that's how you can access the tipping section, okay? All right, I'm going to say one more thing before we get started. I've been noticing that some people are basically misbehaving and being dicks in the stream chat, and they're getting banned, and then they're getting back in somehow. Now, I don't know how this is happening. There's been some speculation that people are unbanning them. I don't think that's the case. I think that Twitch auto-unbans or something after a certain amount of time. <clears throat> For example, there's already someone trolling earlier today. I banned them. Here we are. I'm pre-streaming. He's back. I banned him again. How's he getting back in? I don't know. I don't know how it works. So, do not unban people who are being banned. If you are a mod, I'm going to warn you. All right? Stop unbanning people. Because they're banned for a reason. If I find... Um, if I find that people are undoing things that are being done for a reason, then those people are going to lose their privileges. All right? It's just that simple. <clears throat> Fair enough. Because I do see, you know, we got mods working hard here. All right. We got mods working hard to try to make sure that the stream chat stays in order. And, you know, and then we get people getting let back in constantly. Okay. So it's that simple. I'm going to keep an eyeball on things. And if I notice that people are coming back who keep getting banned, um, I'm going to start revoking mod privileges to certain people, and then we'll get the problem fixed, all right? <clears throat> Fair enough. Yes, it's a Russian spy, of course. What happened is, uh, my mods had a clandestine meeting with a Russian lawyer to discuss what they could do to overthrow the other side Yes, they tried to get inside info. Luckily, they didn't get any info, or else apparently that would have been a felony. Okay? But they did have this meeting. And then there were also Russian hackers. The Russian hackers also are getting people unbanned, apparently. So, <clears throat> there you go. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. I think it's time to end the pre-stream. I'm going to blow my nose. And then we're going to get started with Destiny 2 and see what the hell it all is. Oh, by the way, I have shout-outs. Hold on. I owe, I owe people shout-outs. Let me do that right now. Before I get ahead of myself and I forget, let me scroll down here. 
Scroll all the way down. By the way, I got a ton of new followers this morning. Awesome. Shout out to Griffin Box who did a hundred bit cheer. He says, I found out a long long ago it's a long way down the holiday road. Been having that song stuck in my head all day. A cheers to a great stream. Thank you to Griffin Box. Shout out to Ratchet Fan, who did a dollar tip. He says, Hope you have a good stream. How's your throat? Well, my throat's not as bad as it was before the break. It still sucks because, like I said, it's actually fine all day. Then I go to sleep. And when I go to sleep, my stupid nasal drip kicks in. And then I wake up and my throat's all fucked up again. And it takes a couple hours for it to get better. So, right now it sounds kind of hoarse. But later today it'll be fine. <clears throat> I actually found yesterday my voice felt better during my Danganronpa 2 stream than during my Dark Souls 2 stream. Go figure. <laughs> All right, um, shout out to LightningSide17, who resubscribed to the channel for the fifth month in a row. And he says, I finally finished uni. It's been a long ride. He must be in university. Well, congratulations on that. Um, and welcome. Hope you have fun on today's stream. As we check out Destiny 2. Shout out to GlitchCraze, who subscribed for the second month in a row. He says, two months. Are you excited for Batman Season 2? And are you going to play Undead Nightmare? Aha! He brings up two interesting points. So first of all, if you guys haven't heard, or I don't know if you've heard or not, but Batman is going to have a second season Telltale game. Now, I actually liked Batman Season 1. Yes, I do think I'll be doing Batman Season 2. Apparently, it starts August 8th. So yeah, I'll be checking out Batman Season 2 starting on August 8th. Sounds like good, a good time to me. Of course, that is a Telltale game. Therefore, uh, <clears throat> it'll be narrative-based. But, unlike a visual novel or whatever, it can't be spoiled because no one's played it. So I probably will have, like, pop-up messages and stuff during that playthrough. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Alright. Let's keep going here. Shout-out to Ratchet Fan who did another $2 tip. He says, hope you have an amazing rest of 2017. You've risen above hard times. I see nothing but good times ahead. All hail the king. Well, you know what? Knock on wood. I have to do that at this point. Because the bottom line is, every time it looks like we're through tough times, something else happens, right? First, we had... Plummeting ad revenue on YouTube, so I adjust myself to do more of a Twitch focus, right? I did that for a few months, and that was working. Then we get the threat of false copyright strikes and all kinds of shit. Um, basically, we're never in the clear. This whole thing, this whole uh, experience of doing online video, online streaming, on-demand videos as a living is very, uh, it's very unstable, honestly. And, uh, you know, any time it could kind of go away. So I want to say thank you to all of you who are supportive. Um, we'll see. I'm feeling good about the rest of 2017 only because we're about to hit overdrive. You know, a couple of weeks here, we're going to start hitting all these new releases coming out. And obviously, that's when things pick up. And by the way, I've been getting tons of new followers, tons of new viewers here on Twitch. It's growing exponentially. So if we can keep this up through the hardcore gaming season and keep everything exciting and, and you know, people coming in and checking stuff out it could be a very awesome year um i'm looking forward to more streaming i really am so let's see how it goes thank you for the positive message ratchet fan and shout out to between a cock and a hard place <laughs> what a name he gave a two dollar tip and he says his cock is ready all right well hope your cock is at the ready it better be because if it's not you never know what you'll miss out on if your cock isn't ready all right <clears throat> Okay, fair enough. <clears throat> Alright. Thank you, folks. Let's begin. Destiny 2 beta. Let's see what it's all about, and let's hope it's good. Fair enough? My cock is ready. I hope your cock is ready. Alright, let's do this. <clears throat> 